a review and comparison of the Fulame X5 wireless lavalier mic system, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly video and photography and drone related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing, it's greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna to be doing a unboxing and review and comparison of the new Fulame X5 wireless lavalier system. Along the way, we're gonna be comparing it against the DJI microphone system, that one right here as well as the Comica Vimo C. We did reviews on both these other two microphones in separate videos. You can feel free to check them out in the card up above. So a real quick disclaimer, Fulame did send me the X5 microphone system to me to review for free. No money did exchange hands. Uh, they specifically wanted my review of it. They did not force me to say anything nice about it. They are not gonna see this video before you guys see it personally. So. They did not have any input on this entire review at all. First, let's start off by a quick unboxing. Let's go back to the bench and we'll check it out. So first off, you'll notice that the uh, microphone system is very well packaged. Some specifications on the back. We'll go ahead and open it up here. You see immediately you're greeted with an envelope that contains the instructions. We'll get into those a little bit later as far as how operation goes. And then here is the microphone system itself. The uh, design is very similar to the DJI microphone system. You notice when you open it up, the lights come on, shows you the uh, charge lights there on the front. Uh, you have also these UV uh, lights on the top of the lid, and that is made specifically for uh, Disinfecting the microphone system, you also see that you have a USB-C charging system. Uh, here's one of the uh, transmitters. There are two transmitters in this setup. Uh, you'll notice that there is a built-in microphone in those. And then here is the receiver. The receiver has uh, a color screen on it. It is not a touch screen. It's not a touch screen much like uh, the DJI system is, uh, but granted this system is significantly less expensive compared to the DG DJI system. You have two buttons on the side uh, as well as an output button. You also have a USB-C port on the side uh, as well as a headphone jack. Hold the set button. Uh, you can change between the different modes. You can go from a mono mode, which uh, records the same audio track over both channels. Uh, hold it down again, it will go into stereo mode. Uh, stereo mode is typically used for both transmitters to get a stereo effect. Uh, it records basically one uh, transmitter to each channel, the left and the right. Uh, and then lastly, you have a safe track mode where it records uh, one of the tracks at a lower decibel level uh, in case you get any pops or uh, you know you have a rambunctious uh, actor uh, talent. All right, so that is the charging case. Now there is also a box of accessories. I'll go ahead and open this accessory box up. Inside this accessory box, it looks like you have uh, two dead cat wind muffs. You also have a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Uh, you have a three and a half millimeter uh, TRS to TRS cable, as well as you have two uh, adapters that go from one from USB-C to USB-C and the other for USB-C to lightning. All right, you'll notice on each of the transmitters, there is also a uh, clip on the back. You can obviously clip it onto a shirt or uh, anything of that nature. There is also a magnet. It also does internal recording. This is much like the DJI microphone system. You can get up to four gigabytes of internal recording. I think they say it'll get you about nine hours of audio recording uh, in 48K. All right, so everything that you've heard so far has been from the Fulame X5 lavalier microphone. Uh, there is no external lavalier mic plugged into it, so we're going straight off of the built-in microphone 
to the receiver, which is plugged into my Sony a7 III camera. So I thought it would be a nice time to go ahead and do an audio comparison between the other different microphones that we've talked about. First up, we'll go to the DJI microphone system. All right, so now we have the DJI microphone system set up. We've got the uh, transmitter in a similar location to what the uh, Fule MX-5 transmitter was set at. Uh, so this is what the DJI microphone system sounds like, testing one, two, three. This is an audio test of the DJI microphone system. All right, so next up is the Comica Vimo C. You'll notice that it is slightly closer to my mouth, so things could be slightly louder. Uh, the reason for that is the other two tests, we did have a magnetic attachment. Uh, we do have all the audio levels set in the camera the same as the uh, last two uh, setups for the uh, both the Fulame and the DJI. So this is an audio test of the Comica Vimo C system. This is an audio test testing one, two, three. All right, so now we are back on the Fulame X5 system uh, to round out some comparisons. I'd like to do some uh, some kind of contrast and comparisons between the three microphone systems. Uh, the, uh, the Of course, the Fulame X5, the DJI mic system, and the Comica Vimo C. First off, let's talk about price. Price, the lowest price of all of them, well, they can be a tie. I've seen both of them priced the same when they're on sale with coupons. Uh, Comica Vimo C, though, is typically at about $130 US, link down in the description. The Fulame X5 can range between $130 and $150, again, a, a link in the description. Um, and then the microphone by DJI is $329, of course, the most expensive of all of them. So now let's talk about the, uh, the screens on the receivers. Uh, two of the three of these do not have touch screens. Both the uh, Fule MX-5 and the Comica Vimo C do not have touch screens. Everything has to be done with physical buttons. Uh, the DJI mic system is the only one that has a built-in touch screen. Next, let's talk about internal recording. Now, two of the three of these do offer internal recording in the transmitters themselves. Uh, the uh, Fulame X5 does offer internal recording as well as the DJI mic system also does. The Comica Vimo C does not. Now again, both of the uh, Fulame X5 and the DJI mics offer four gigabytes of internal recording. You can access those recordings via a USB-C cable directly into your computer, and you'll be able to get the WAV files off there. They are in 48 uh, kilohertz uh, frequency. Uh, very nice sounding pure audio for those. Next, let's talk about range. The range between these three systems per the manufacturers are all identical at 200 meters uh, distance. As far as if these systems can actually go that far, you do need clear line of sight in order to be able to do that. If you get an obstacle or even sometimes your body in between the transmitter and the receiver, you could have issues with some breakup. That is, uh, I did a review on a uh, comparison between the Comica Vimo C and the DJI microphone system. I'll leave a card up there in the corner uh, and you can see that for yourself. There was breakup between those when I would turn my back to the camera. That's just the way the 2.4 gigahertz system and these microphones setups work. So uh, next up, let's talk about some uh, pros and cons of all of these systems. Uh, pros between the uh, Fulay Max 5 and DJI, they both have magnet magnets on the back as well as clips on the transmitters. So it does open up the possibility of being able to mount these in different locations, a little bit more versatile. Uh, you can you know, put the magnet behind your shirt or a lapel, something like that, and snap it on. Uh, you do not have to uh, clip it on specifically. Now, if uh, you, it does also help you to be able to get it further or closer away from your mouth when you're talking. Next up, pros and cons. The Fule MX-5 and the DJI do also offer a three and a half millimeter jack on the transmitters to be able to plug in an external wired lavalier microphone. The uh, Vimo C does not offer that. So you can really see you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this Fule MX-5 mic system. 
let me know your thoughts down in the uh, comments below what you thought of the audio differences between these three microphone systems uh, if you own one which one you've got which one you like best or if you own multiple of them which is your favorite which gives you the most value for your dollar so that is it for this review on the Fulame X5 microphone system. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, consider clicking that thumbs up button. Also subscribe. We've got great review and comparison videos coming out all the time. We also come out for, with new products of our own that kind of aid and benefit some of the, uh, the products that we review as well. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.